In this example, we're interested in what the interest rate on a one-year bond or bullet bond will be starting in two years. So we, if we're pretending that we're standing two years from now, we want to know what the interest rate on a one-year bond will be. So the first thing we do um, is we draw our timeline. With our timeline here, We've got one, two, three, and what we're going to be interested in is figuring out what the interest rate over this time period will be. Because if we pretend that we're standing two years ahead, we will then, um, we want to find out what the interest rate will be or what we expect that interest rate to be over this time period. In the problem, we're given some information. We know that a two-year bullet bond has an interest rate of 3% per year. So what that means is that for year one, with this bullet bond, we get 3%. And then in year two, we get 3%. The other strategy that we can uh, potentially invest in is a three-year bullet bond that has an interest rate of 5% per year. So under that strategy, we would get 5% each year. So we're interested in what the interest rate over this time period will be that makes these two strategies have the same payoff. Because remember, under expectations theory, if two strategies have the same payoff and the same level of risk, that they have to have the same uh, return over that time period. So the way we, we actually find out the forward rate, which we denote by F, and in this case, 2 comma 1, because it's the interest rate starting in two periods and that interest rate is for one period. So two periods, starting in two periods, then the interest rate for one period. So one way to do this strategy is we invest in the two-year bond today. That is, we invest in this, and then we take the proceeds from that two-year bond and reinvest them in a one-year bond that starts off in two years. All right, and now this, this total return right here has to be equal to the alternative in, of investing in a three-year bond with a 5% interest rate every year. So now it's just a little bit of algebra to find out that the forward rate, two periods ahead that lasts for one period, that is this interest rate, we expect that forward rate, F21, to be about 9.1%.